Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm painting fruit. It's always fun uh, to paint fruit. They're so varied in color and um, shape. So enjoy the video. Today I'm going to paint a tray of fruit. I'm using a canvas panel, which I got from Michaels, and I've taped off the area that um, I don't want to spend time on and I don't want to spend paint on. A canvas panel is a cardboard panel that has um, canvas um, sheet stretched across it and glued. I'm using water mixable oils and I have my usual palette of alizarin crimson, raw sienna, raw umber, cad yellow light, sap green, ultramarine blue and titanium white. I'm using a three quarter inch flat and the first thing I'm going to do is paint a background with a mixture of titanium, uh, a mixture of ultramarine blue and titanium white. Okay. I'm going to add more titanium white to it to give, give me um, a lighter, paler color. I'm pretending to myself that this is an outdoor picnic and we're looking at a blue sky with maybe some cloud in it. I make it slightly darker at the top. And I'm taking my powder brush. I find these so useful. They're soft and they're great for blending. Um, they're great for blending. I start with the paler areas and blend those and then do the darker in sort of a circular motion. Okay, I'm happy with that. I find with this heavier board it doesn't want to stay in camera range and I'm not using a um, I'm not using an easel because um, I can't get a good view from my camera with an easel I can't show you what I'm doing so well um, so I'm using raw sienna I managed to get a little blue in it but really we don't care and I'm made painting a table, a tabletop. Usually takes me about an hour to do a painting of this size. I'm using raw umber um, to put in some shadow. I've put a brush down there to try and stop this canvas from slipping down doesn't seem to be doing that much good but I think you're still in view I've decided I'll paint the tray red because it's a nice color that stands out well and I'm using um, alizarin crimson and cad yellow light to give me a sort of orangey red. And I'm using a quarter inch flat. I'm 
I'm just getting colour on the canvas at this present time. I'm not worrying too much um, about lights and darks. In fact, I'm not worrying at all about lights and darks. I'm just getting paint on the canvas. Um, it's such thin paint at this point that I can see my pencil lines through the paint. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try zooming. I still don't think you can see it that well. Maybe you can. All right. I'm using um, sap green and the same um, quarter inch flat brush. Actually this is a bristle brush which I found which I don't often use. Great leaves to my eye look a lot like a, a maple leaf. I'm not a tree person so um, they just that's just how they look to me and I've got two leaves here and I'll have to go back to my drawing to see how I had this arranged but like I say paint on the canvas and I'm using some raw umber to put in that top knobby bit of the bananas. I'm going to use cad yellow light and some titanium and sketch in the bananas. Paint on the canvas at this stage. We're not worrying about light and shadow. We're just getting shapes down. I wasn't sure if this was going to be a peach or an apple, but I've decided it's going to be a Granny Smith apple. So I've mixed titanium with cad yellow and some sap green. And I'm putting in a layer of green. And we'll worry about the shadow and the lights later on, once I get all the colors in place. Um, and I think my grapes are going to be a purple color so I'm going to use some alizarin crimson ultramarine blue. Are grapes actually purple? I think they're more like a reddy color. I don't know. My grapes are going to be this dark red color. Uh, they'll all melt into each other as I go along and we'll have to come back and define those shapes a little more closely as we go or I will because I'm doing this painting and I missed a little bit of the banana that peeps through there Rinsing out my brush and 
not cleaning it very well. I'm going to use a different brush. Another quarter inch flat. And I'm just going to put in some yellow there and a dark part of the tray there. Okay, so we've got colour on the canvas and that's the important thing and it looks a dreadful mess at the moment but we'll go along or I will go along and refine that. So here's my drawing which I do on tracing paper. I find it um, easier. I'm just drawing it once. I'm not having to transfer it to tracing paper if I draw it on tracing paper. And I'm looking at my leaves, which I find the hardest thing to do. Um, it, you'd think grapes themselves would be the hardest thing to paint, but they're certainly not. I find grape leaves very hard to do. So I'm going to have that in hand while I work on my grapes. And I've mixed a little titanium in and maybe I can get my shapes better. As I said, they're a little like maple leaves. I'm going to put that one down there. And then we have another one that comes off and goes this way. Putting a darker line against the light. I'm doing this leaf now this leaf. Okay, so So really, I should have a lighter leaf against the dark. I'm mixing a little ultramarine in with my sap green and I'm going to put just a touch of dark there. I mess around with it until I get it how I want it. That's how I paint and this will be lighter. down here where it doesn't get so much light it'll be darker okay that doesn't look like much but it's coming along believe me and I'm suggesting that the light is coming from this direction it's how I usually paint I have to change it up every now and then but this week this is how I'm painting using that dark green to put in a shadow side on my apple. Okay. I've turned some lights on and that's going to help a lot. Um, I've mixed some raw umber in with my cad yellow light to give me a sort of darker more neutral yellow and I'm going to paint the undersides of my bananas and it'll be a bit darker down here my whole method of painting 
is to just keep going in and touching up the lights and the darks until I get it exactly where I want it. And I'm not showing you how to paint, I'm showing you how I paint. And there are a lot of really good artists on YouTube. And I would say, go watch them. And I kind of like that yellow, so I'm going to put it in my leaf a little bit. I like to put my colors, whatever I'm using on my brush, throughout my painting. And it, um, it just adds a little interest, a little more interest. Any little details that you can put in will add more interest to the eye. Putting green in the tabletop. It's not strictly how a tabletop is, it's just how I paint a tabletop. And I'm going to take some of the orangey color of the tray and I'm going to put a line of that just across underneath, just as a sort of reflection of the tray. And I'll take a dry brush. I'm using this big, um, actually I think it's an inch I just pull it down slightly. And along. Just to give the suggestion of a reflection of the tray. And I'm going to use alizarin crimson and a little of that purpley color and I'm going to put that in the base, the inside base of the tray. Because these are water mixable oils, they're very soft, very malleable, and um, easy to keep adjusting. I really love painting with them. Okay, and we're going to put a dark line. underneath. Actually I'm going to use some raw umber to put a dark line underneath. Might add some of that raw umber into the inside of the tray as well. I love raw umber for adding shadow. It's so sort of a neutral that you can stroke on and it gives you a lovely shadow. I'm stroking this shadow down to sort of soften it. I'm doing that with all my shadows. I've got this big Taclon brush. It's quite a soft brush. I get them from Walmart actually. And um, they're quite good to paint with and cheap as chips. Water mixable oils will be sort of touch dry in um, 
a few hours by the next day easily but they don't dry enough to ship a painting I have found for um, to be confident a month I have shipped them in two weeks and sometimes that's worked and sometimes I regretted it so to be really careful I leave it for a month and then I know all parts of the painting are probably dry enough to ship. I'm going to put on straight cad yellow light on the tops of my bananas And I'm going to put some titanium in my greenish sap green uh, cad yellow mixture and I'm going to stroke that down the side of my apple. This is um, one of those green Granny Smith apples I've decided. I don't really eat many apples but when I do I like the red um, garlic apples because they're sweet. Um, I'm going to make a greenish stem on my bananas. And I'm going to put some more light on my leaf. I hope it's beginning to look more like an actual grape leaf. I'm mixing titanium white in with my purplish colour for my grapes. And I'm going to put in the light side on some of the grapes. With a, just a little curved flick. And then I'm going to take my darker colour. Oops. I'm going to take my darker colour and flick in the opposite direction. Whoops, that's not it. That's better. And it sort of melds with the the light side and gives you that sort of um, cloudy look that grapes have because I never find grapes that shiny myself. I always put a light spot on them because that helps make them look round. But I never find them really shiny unless I've washed just washed them and then they look lovely but these are not just washed these have been sitting on the tray waiting for someone to paint them I'm just taking a little alizarin and putting it on the ones that are sort of shaded down in there 
neat colour straight out of the tube um, helps them perk up a little bit I find. Yeah, that's beginning to look better, don't you think? I'm mixing titanium white and cad yellow light and just going to put a, a dab of that on the top of my bananas. Because the light's coming from this direction, it'll be on the edge of the here as well. I don't have many long handled brushes so I'm washing it out furiously in my bowl here too. Um, add more light to the grate. Um, I'm mixing titanium white to give me an even lighter pink. Like it's mostly white with just a hint of pink. And I'm just going to put a little, I'm hoping a little stroke. I don't know if this brush is small enough. Well, let's try it on this one. I think I need a smaller brush. So I'm going to use this tiny filbert that I have and I'm just going to use that to put a little dab on each of my grapes. A little curved sort of hook of light. just on the ones that would be touched by the light. That one at the bottom I got too light in the wrong place. I'm going to touch it up with some dark. And I, this is how I work, I refine constantly. I'm always going in and just refining a line here and there. In this case, making grapes rounder. making them darker and hopefully juicier looking. I'm using um, straight alizarin for some of them. I think that's actually getting there, if not already there. I'm not totally certain that it is. Okay, so so now I'm going to work on my apple. I'm mixing some cad yellow. Um, with sap and I'm giving myself a paler green to put on this light side of the apple. That I feel is just way too light. So we'll darken that up by stroking on some sap green
that's pretty good. And I'm going to put a little ultramarine blue on my brush that I've just used to stroke on the green. And just keep stroking it in. And the two colours will mix and I'll get the shade that I want. I'm going to take a soft brush and just blend that line down between the two. You don't have to get everything right all at once. You can relax and just work on it. Even come back the next day with water mixable oils. You can come back the next day and work. Um, it, it will be touch dry, but it will be easy to um, work with. I think I'm going to jazz this tray up a little bit. Put a bit more light on it. That looks better. And the rim will catch the light. We'll use a little cad yellow light for the rim. Maybe not that side so much. Reinforce that shadow a little. Whoops, got the wrong color on my brush. going to put in some more darks on my apple. Using alizarin. Um, I'm using ultramarine blue. sap green and I'm using sap green down here 
where I think the light doesn't actually get in there. And I'm going to use some raw umber to put in a bit more shadow here and um, you know you sometimes like to see the tips of bananas I think that's beginning to look slightly more banana-like. And I'm using raw sienna and I'm going to draw in the, the veins on my leaves and hope that helps me make my leaves look more vein-like more leaf-like. I find a mixture of raw sienna and alizarin crimson gives me a pretty good shade. got this mixture going with like alizarin crimson raw sienna and a little of that cad yellow mixture that I did for the bananas and The, the leaves of uh, grapes are kind of jaggedy looking. I think that's beginning to look better. And using an ultramarine and sap color for this stem. And I'm going to use some yellow mixture. I'm adding titanium white to 
my pale green that I mixed up from cad yellow, sap green and titanium white before and I'm going to put that on my apple and I think that's better now at this stage and I'm going to take my small pointed round and just add a little light. Whoops, I've got too much water in my brush there. Let's see if we can take that off. I'm going to add a little light there. I'm going to add even more light here. Um, when my palest greens I use titanium white, cad yellow and sap and sometimes I add a dot either of raw sienna or alizarin crimson to give it, to bring it down from too, being too uh, bright a green. feel I need more raw umber. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed painting this tray of fruit and please give me a thumbs up if you did and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of my videos and thank you very much for watching. See you next time.